Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Link. Uh, as you know, with Chainlink, Chainlink broke recently out of its uh, wave structure here, out of this triangle count or range in which Link has move has been moving for a year. Yeah? Um, it broke to the downside, broke below that $6 level. The $6 level was for me the warning level that I communicated to you. Uh, it was $6.03 to be precise, but basically $6, um, a break below that below six dollars made us favor the more bearish breakouts to the downside i think the warning came just in time um because below six dollars it crashed basically crashed down 16 percent so hopefully that was a good signal yeah because as i said to you as long as we hold six dollars a bullish count is reasonable but below six dollars yeah gave you some heads up 16 percent um, above the the actual uh, breakout point to the downside then um, yeah below that level the bearish count is favored so we are starting to head down further here I added in the last video here a, a suggestion for a subwave structure count which would suggest that a link is sort of also in the last steps of this correction anyway you know of this bear market ideally ideally um, it obviously is going to go down until we see a signal that it's going up. So we need to see that impulse to the upside first. Now the downtrend has start, has continued actually. We came down a year long consolidation and now heading down further. So this just acted as a trend continuation pattern as the so-called rectangle pattern or Elliott wave triangle and now heading further down suggested to you in the previous video that a wave one could be done, a wave two could be done. This might unfold as an ending diagonal, this wave five. Um, and we might now be in the third wave, which could get one more tiny low. Alternatively, we are already in this wave four. It's a bit difficult to really, um, yeah, get a clear subway structure here. This is more an idea than anything else. Obviously, if this was already the third wave, we need to make sure that it's not going to be the shortest. So if this is already in this third wave, then there is a clear limit to the length of the fifth wave because the fifth wave must not be the, sorry, the third wave must not be the shortest. So it would need to stop at round 355, okay? Shouldn't go below that. Otherwise, the third wave would be the shortest. We'll see. I mean, again, I can't even tell you uh, for sure that the third wave is already finished. It might be that it gets one more low. To finish this third but either way what i want to communicate here is that we're heading down lower and i need to see a break above basically six dollars yeah um with ideally an impulsive structure to suggest that this downtrend is over because the six dollar level was basically our warning level that's also when the fear candle started it's now producing here something like a bearish flag highlighted to you in the previous video that you know it might be a triangle uh, but this is obviously a very, very small time frame there. Looks more like an ascending wedge now, which often breaks to the downside. We'll see. And either way, this looks corrective. It's only a three-wave to top. And because it's only a three-wave top, it makes the chart very um, or quite likely to break down. Yeah, At least it is um, still expected to break down until we see an impulse. And an impulse would be a five-wave move. And there are clear rules to an impulse. This certainly looks corrective at this stage. And these, sorry, an ascending wedge often is a sign of weakness and would break down further. Of course, never guaranteed. But um, as soon as you see a break below this trend line here, it's likely heading down in this fifth wave. Okay, that's my update about Link. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.